Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Will Motivation. And today we're talking about my advice on the number one way for you to get started investing in real estate. All right, what's up, everybody? Will Motivation here. Um, got up early this morning to go check out a potential investment property. Um, I'm looking at it primarily as a possible flip, but it could also be a rental. But man, it's cold, raining and icy anyway man look at that ice we're gonna go do what we gotta do yo alright look at my window I don't know if you guys can see that but I don't really want to be out here in this weather but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Cause if this is a if this is a flip and it's uh, you know worth my time, the way I'm looking at the numbers, it could potentially make thirty or forty thousand um, dollars pretty quickly, like two or three months. So, but look at this ice. So let me figure out how I'm gonna get this ice off my windows. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I did that. All right, so we're getting close to the property, and I want you guys to take a look at this neighborhood. It's it's not like the hood. Take the next left onto Rose Place, then arrive at your kind of like what I what I expected more or less. It's a lot of little houses over here that I would say are in the like. Like what he's asking for this house, which is eighty thousand, is exactly what these houses look like. Maybe ninety, maybe a hundred. You are approaching your destination. So you know, I see some investors that look like a lot of investors may be here. But a um, hundred and thirty thousand, I don't know about that. Like you so far. Your destination. So this looks like that's it. Yeah. So let me figure out where I'm gonna park at. All right. So I don't. I'm not gonna take my my regular camera in here because I don't know if they got a problem with me videotaping. But uh, I'm gonna shoot with my uh, my iPhone here. See if I can get some footage for you guys. So let's see what so let's, let's see what it looks like. All right. So um, I'm walking into the house. And kind of looking at that's like the living room area. This is like the front door area. I walked into the garage, and the first thing that struck me is how small the house is. Everybody likes open concept right now, and this is definitely not open concept. This is like a split level type style. You got to go upstairs. That's a little tiny eat-in kitchen area, and then here's the actual kitchen. I mean, they tried to do a rehab on it. It's like, okay, of course it's a little cluttered with the stuff in there, but I'm just looking around at the finishings and I'm like, am I gonna work with this stuff or am I gonna have to tear everything out? Then, um, you know, there's there's a bunch of investors swarming the house looking thirsty. So that kind of turned me off. Cause usually when I'm looking at a house, I'm the only one. This is a nice big bathroom, but it's not, other than the size of the bathroom, it's not all that impressive. You know, it's, it doesn't look like it needs a whole lot of work, but okay, you got one bathroom. Um, of course, I wanted to see, okay, there's a little bit of water damage there from the floor, but nothing major. Uh, you know, it's like, okay, this is all right. It's not super impressive. So where's the, where the bedroom's at? So this is like the master bedroom right here. It's right beside the bathroom. It's tiny. I didn't even want to go in there because of somebody else in there. This is the, that's the living room where you come in the house. Like this is the main living room. It's so tiny that like, 
I would say it was less than a 10 by 10. So I went upstairs. So these are the other two bedrooms in the house. Tiny bedrooms inside the attic space. And I was like, okay, for me, this was this was it. Like, okay, I'm not about to pull the roof up and make it bigger, but you see how small it is. Like, it's tiny. And, and, and then this is the other bedroom. Tiny, man. It, it looked like a little... Uh, I mean, you can't work with that nope. to make a hundred and thirty thousand dollar house. You can't work with that. So this is this turn. This really turned me off uh, about the house. So then I went down to the basement. I'm like, okay, maybe there's some more bedrooms or something. I get down to the basement. There's raw basement area, which is to be expected. It's a bunch of storage space, basically, and it's partially finished. Nothing there to see that that's going to make me want to invest. So let's just let's break it down. Okay, so <clears throat> I took a quick look. So uh, a couple of things turned me off about this property. Number one, too many investors. So it could drive the price up potentially. I might make a lowball offer on it. But number two, uh, I, I don't know if you guys are paying attention, but uh, second thing was, let me get to the car because I don't want... I met the guy who's the wholesaler and uh, I don't want him to think I'm just coming up here just to play around. But <clears throat> I'm gonna show, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm not feeling about that property and the, and the value. All right, so let me tell you guys uh, the issue I have with this property. So I have some experience with real estate, but even before I had any experience at all, my mind frame as an investor was, what is a potential buyer going to think uh, when they come into the house? Is there any possible wow factor? Are there any possible things about the house that would make it hard to sell at a higher price point? Um, so if we're talking about a price point, for me to make this a safe flip, the price point would need to be around 130,000. Um, I don't I didn't see anything that looked like it would be really really like in a really expensive repair Of course, you can't see what's underground with the plumbing So that's always uh, something that you got a budget for potentially having some plumbing issues, you know So I didn't see any major repair issues that that kind of turned me off about this property But what turned me off is when I buy a property Especially for a flip like I'm looking at this more as a flip than a than a, um, a rental property, especially after what I just saw when I went in there. But the biggest thing was that the house felt small and cramped and the square footage that makes it one of the bigger houses in this neighborhood, that square footage um, was in sort of what was the second floor or even the third floor is like a split level type of design but I'll, I'll call it the second floor where there were two bedrooms upstairs the way those bedrooms were laid out and how small that house is it was more like a attic that was converted into bedrooms and the, the wow factor is on the wrong side like there's a good wow and there's a bad wow so there's a wow when you walk in there and you see that and you're like wow like really like gotta deal with this versus a wow factor when you walk in you're like wow I didn't expect this in a good way right well I walked into those upstairs bedrooms and it was wow in a bad way because it was like converted attic space uh, and it was small like I've like I grew up in a house where we converted the attic space into bedrooms and <clears throat> it was a big attic space huge that attic space right there is a negative like um because you're going to be looking at the square footage of the house and you're going to say wow square footage is pretty good in this house especially for this neighborhood where um you know most of the houses are small but then you get up there and you look at that square footage you're like okay the ceiling is super low these rooms are super cramped and nobody's going to be excited or happy about um the design of those rooms and the design of the house it's not open concept it's not open concept and all of the rooms were really small um just not a good there's not like a major wow selling point to, to make that the most expensive house in the neighborhood 
it's not um, the potential is the potential is not really there so that one for me is a negative because if we did buy it and we did try to sell it for hundred and thirty thousand it would be one of the most expensive houses in this neighborhood and looking at this neighborhood it's not a bad neighborhood but all of the houses are tiny like I would say the average house probably over here should be like 75,000 at the high end and so trying to sell a house for 150 grand or 130 grand is a stretch and the design of that house it would take too much money to like what you would need to do in that house is open up the main floor and there and it, the way it's a split level you can't really do it easily and then that upstairs the ceilings need to be higher because it just feels like a small cramped up attic space the basement wasn't even worth looking at i, I went down there for a hot second i wasn't impressed so there's just not um i don't see the opportunity there to make significant like like i said if i do a flip i want to make at least 20 grand and that's cutting it too close um so not worth my time somebody else might be able to pick it up and make 10 grand or something like that but that's not um that's not in my uh risk category you know what i mean so that's my assessment of that particular property i'm not excited at all about it and uh if I do make an offer, it'll be a low offer. So I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe we will like say, hey, look, we did the numbers and we can buy this house at 60,000 or something like that. But even with that, it's not it's not that impressive. All right. So that's our little walkthrough of uh, evaluating, physically evaluating property, the kind of things that I look for. Um, I look for the potential. And right there, that house didn't have a whole lot. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching today's video. There's a lot more to come. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me about when is my online course going to be ready? Well, I have good news for you. My online course is completed. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and get a 40% discount off the course. That'll be for the first 50 students. So if you're ready to take the online course that I've basically laid out everything that I know about how to invest in real estate, click the link below or just go to www.willmotivation.com slash invest. And I thank you guys for taking the time out to watch today's video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.